hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to be here if this is your first time here make sure you like comment and subscribe if you like my heart make sure you like comment and subscribe yes <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber here on og welcome back to my channel i love you guys so much today's video i'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know about life after school I'm going to tell you everything that your parents didn't tell you. Your parents, your guardians, your teachers, your lecturers, everybody, your siblings, your uncles, your aunties. Things that nobody told you about life after school. In this video, I'm going to spill the tea on everything. Nobody told us that life after school will be this hard. Like, nobody told us. As if they told us, we would have prepared and be ready for this harsh reality but our parents kept us shielding us they kept on providing 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 if we needed anything they would go out of their ways to get it for us we're so reliant on them and now we facing this reality is so shocking for some people but i thank god that we are adjusting gradually you know if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe subscribe now and make sure you like to okay all right so the first thing i want you to know about life after school is that you are on your own yes i said it you are on your own or here is your case nobody is going to be looking out for you anymore you see those small small tips you get from uncles from aunties from your parents your dad your mom your grandparents all that is going to stop except for parents that still feel like they should give you of which to a certain degree your parents should still support you just because you've graduated school i don't think that your parents should stop doing the normal things that they do for you they should actually still continue to do that but some we actually stop which is not necessarily a bad thing parents are different some parents will see you through your postgraduate level sponsor you to your masters and even through your phd while some once they are done with your undergrads they just leave you so what you need to know is that you are on your own you need to start fending for yourself you need to start get you need to get money to take care of your feeding your clothing your transport and if you are the kind of person that has girlfriend babe you need to also look for money to take care of your babe because all that is going to stop they believe that you are now grown and you should be able to get that for yourself i know some parents that i know there's one of my friends that was telling me that she's still contributing money for house rent some parents are like that now in the house when they see that especially my friends that are currently serving their parents will now start telling them well yeah we want to buy gas contribute money for gas we want to pay rent bring money for rent things in the house are finished you to put your hand inside your pocket maybe they are paying you in that place you to pay but it's not really like that because a lot of people do not understand that when someone starts working let's say i just start working for example and i tell them that ah i'm ending 100k and they're like hey mama 100k ah come and come and flex for us come and do this for us they don't understand that with somebody that is working you are removing transport from that 100k you are removing feeding from that 100k you buy clothes for yourself from that 100k so at the end of the day that 100k is not even enough for you again but they don't understand you just feel like okay once you are any 100k you are rich you are this you are that and for people that will even pay tight sacrificial giving people that like giving by the time you remove everything from that 100k that money might just be 50 that you have for yourself so before you can even be stable as somebody that is working you must have spent like five months or let me just say like four months into the job where you know that you, are, you have saved and you're now stable enough to be able to now start giving out giving this giving this giving that to dependents and people that keep disturbing you for money the second thing i want you to know is that ha ah, you will suffer i'm just joking you will not suffer but what i want you to know is that you cannot depend on uncles and aunties extended family for support after you have graduated from school so i'm going to give this instance there are some people that are privileged to be born in places like abuja places like lagos like you were born and raised in lagos and we know that these cities are like the center of excellence this is the city where if you want to make it in nigeria you have a you have better opportunities of making it there but for people like me that were born in akure or um ondo state Ogun state and other you know Rural areas, as they will call it, I'm no disrespect to people born in Akure. I'm sorry, I'm also from Akure. I'm just saying that because that's the way some people see us. You have to travel to Lagos to 
make it in life and when you go to lagos to make it to travel to lagos to make it in life you have to stay with a friend but most of the time you stay with an uncle or an auntie my darling you will suffer <laughs> don't forget 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 that one forget that they are the ones that will invite you they'll tell you come to lagos there are opportunities in lagos come and live your life in lagos you will get a job just come my darling if you get there living with uncles and aunties in lagos you will suffer suffer you know my name is Fanez. add suffer to the end of my name when i get to lagos Fanez suffer that's what will happen to you you can't depend on them you can't depend on them when you are traveling to a new place or you want to live with someone family no family uncle no uncle friend no friend you need to zero your mind for the worst just know that the worst is yet to come. Just know that bad things are going to happen to you. Just know that you are going to suffer. Don't expect any luxury from anything and that's it from anyone. And that is the harsh reality of life. Human beings are mean, human beings are bad, and human beings will mistreat you. And it is very, very bad, especially when it comes from family. The next thing I want to talk about is going broke. Oh, my darling, you'll be broke. Oh. You will be broke or you will lose money. You will lose money. Especially when if you are if you are the type that now has siblings. They move the, I don't know. The moment they just hear that you are any hundred K. It might not even be hundred K, it might be sixty K. I need sub. I need data. I want to buy something in that place. The moment they just hear that you are any one amount of money, they just want to get something from you. And for people that are not even working. Uh, I wonder how you guys cope. My darling, you'll be broke. Let me tell you, as a young professional, you think that you... You think that... um oh, When I start working, you see the way they paint... I don't know, maybe the way they paint TV commercials or on TV. You see this really nice office. Everywhere is painted white. You're giving a laptop. You're this, you're that. See, my darling, baby girl, baby boy, it's not like that. You will suffer. Your boss will treat you like trash somebody will treat you like trash just because you are new although it is not in all places that is like that but most places are actually like that especially when we are paying when they are paying you they feel like when they are paying you you should actually scratch their back anything they ask you to do they want you to do it because they are paying you they will mistreat you the work workplaces are very very toxic and tough if you are um lucky or fortunately or fortunate to work remotely then that is a blessing because when you work remotely you will never want to do a nine to five you understand nine to fives are very very toxic i know a friend that was telling me it was only 400k that was what it was working in a real estate firm it was only 400k monthly after that i just called him ah, fan now how is your job come and show your girl love he was like ah Fanny, see, I've left that job. I'm like, ah, what happened? He said that his boss told him that he used to come to the office to drink tea every day and he doesn't do anything. And this, my friend, is very, very hardworking. He's a graphics designer. He does a lot of work for that firm. His boss talks to him anyhow, mistreats him just because he's paying him. That is one of the things you face. He resigned from that job. Even though he didn't have anything to fall back on, he told himself that after two months, I am done. I am out of here. I'm not doing this anymore. So toxic workplaces are things that you should be ready for. People will mistreat you. People will be harsh towards you. And there is nothing you can do about it. Have you ever seen... Let me even give you this example of a toxic work, workplace. Have you ever had a boss that will give you work, give you work, give you work, tell you to do this, do this, do this, insult you, tell you that you are this, you are that. Did you even go to school? What school did you go to? What this, what that, what this thing? And then you're not like, all right, darling. Okay, darling, I know you can do it. Okay, baby girl, I know you can do it. Okay, on. Like after they've insulted you, they'll not put darling, they'll not put on, they'll not put everything to cajole you to do the work. That is even worse than being me. If you understand what I'm saying. So, Toxic workers, toxic workplaces are things that you should be ready for. You are going into the real world. You should be ready to miss anything. The fourth thing is you need to be able to make decisions for yourself. You don't have friends anymore that 
will tell you, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. You are now accountable for yourself. You shouldn't, you, you should, you've come to a place in your life where you will sit down and you'll be like, okay, at this point, this is the way forward. I know that if I take this road, I know that I will make it. You need to learn to live your life without friends and family you need to be dependent you need to make choices for yourself nobody is going to make that choice for you the path you want to follow in life nobody is going to make it for you you have a decision and you have you have the, the you have what it takes you should be able to make that decision for yourself you shouldn't depend on any friend anymore life after school is hard trust me they said all these points my advice for you is please get something doing have a skill that is bringing you money. You need a skill that is bringing you money. If you are doing graphics design, if you are doing video editing, you are US. These are skills that are bringing money. Especially when you are, when you freelance or you have like, or you work for two clients or three clients or three companies that like, you know that if money is coming from three places, put a skill to work. That skill that you have, put it to work. If it's makeup, if it's baking and confectionaries, if it's tailoring, if it's shoemaking, Put that skill to work because outside, outside is outside is rough. The streets are not smiling. That skill that you have, put it to work and make money from it. Learn a skill today. So there are some people here. They say, "Oh my God, I don't want to be collecting money from my parents again. I don't want to be collecting money from my sister. I'm a man. I'm a woman. I should be able to take care of my needs." See, baby girl, baby boy. If you have a family member, if you have a mother or a father that still wants to be giving you money, collect it. A lot of people do not have the opportunity that you have. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of people that are orphans or people that are fatherless, that they don't even have anybody to take care of them. Appreciate God for the gift of life. Appreciate God that you have parents that still want to help you, that want to reach out to you, that are willing to reach out to you, that still want to help you, help your career in life. Please take that opportunity. And don't be doing big boy and big girl. Say, I don't want your money. I don't want your money. I will move out on my own. Our rent is expensive. Yes, I said you also gotta be living with your friends. So if you have parents that still want to help you, that want to reach out to you, take help from them. Take help from them. Gather experience, put it in your CV. Work hard, work hard, take up good work. Don't do bad work, don't do lazy work. Lagos is full of scammers and lazy people that just want to scam you of your money. Be diligent, be hard working, do whatever it takes for you to survive, and God will definitely bless the work of your hands. Okay, guys, so I'm not a motivational speaker. I just thought to make this video because it has been on my mind for a long time, you know. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're an OG, welcome. So, share this video with your friend because you might help somebody who needs it. Thank you so much, guys. Papa no papa. Bye.